So hey everyone, um, as requested I have done a little video, I put a little poll up on the community tab on my YouTube asking what you'd prefer this week and here it is. So I'm just going to pop up the acrylics that I recently bought on in, um, in this video, I've double timed it because I'm just going to kind of ramble on and then at the end um, with kind permission from Annabelle from Nails by Annabelle which is where I get my glam and glitz, I have used the images that she's got on her um, website and her Facebook support group at the end to show you the finished products. So as most of you know I use CJP which is quite a dry system uh, and everyone's been getting on about glam and glitz and I've been wanting to try it for quite a long time um, and Liz started using it so I had a little chat with her and she was recommending it so I bought some goodies. Now I originally bought I think it was four pots literally arrived two days before I moved um, house and business and everything so I remember getting them out having a really quick play and I could not get on with them um, and I think the problem with that is is that you have to work wet with them um, and I thought I was I thought I was like I'm working much wetter than I usually do and then um, Annabelle has recently started a YouTube channel which again I will pop the links below for you um, and I had a little watch of one of her videos about three weeks ago and I was like oh oh my okay so that wet which in my head just seemed really sloppy after having worked so dry with CJP um so I got out those four pots that had been sat in the drawer and I had another play and I was in love so I did a big order um random colors um some of the mood effects some of them glow in the dark um what i really like about these products is they come in a really nice size pot um so you get a really decent amount and they're between i think it's between eight and ten or eleven pounds for each pot which for a color acrylic i mean even for like a pink or clear is pretty good but for a cover of acrylic is um, you get a, de a really decent amount um, for your money. Um, it can be used as a strength powder with any monomer, which is how they market it. However, like I say with most of my um, products, I tend to use um, the colour powder. I'm, I'm, I'm umming a lot, sorry. I will more often than not use colour powders for design rather than um, as strength powders and especially as I work you have to work wetter with this I prefer to use them as a design and then cap in my complete system you'll notice there that when I put that bead on it was a little dry so all I did is I just dabbed my brush in my monomer um, to get a little more liquid and add it in because again you do sometimes go into autopilot when you're working with some acrylic and you just start going uh, dry again and stuff. So um, I really like these colors. They're really, really highly pigmented. This one, oh, I need it on my nails now, but it's all Christmas. This is going to be my new year color because it is just beautiful. Um, they, yeah, really highly pigmented. Um, some of them you can get a little bit of marbling with. Um, I need to do another video to show how to deal with marbling. Um, Annabelle's got a good one on her channel though. So again, go check her out yeah um really nice colors you can work nice and thin and you've still got a nice depth of color very little marbling lovely to work with good value for money um there are a few uh, suppliers in the uk i can highly recommend at nails by annabelle you always get really great service um if you join her facebook group or um like follow her on facebook or anything she is just like the sweetest person in the world so i will always encourage people to send uh, business her way ocean breeze that has just come up now this is also a favorite of mine it looks a bit neony it's not quite that neon in real life so it's um, a really nice bright vivid green without being too neon i must do it in a set um, of my nails soon so you can get a better look and i did a set with this one the other day which is scheduled to be shared I think after Christmas because I'm just getting all the Christmas sets out of the way and this wasn't too festive so yeah I'm um, really enjoying this um, product I've just placed another order for far too many pots so hopefully I'll get a chance to swatch up as you can see this one marbled a little bit but I just make sure I then almost paint it down the nail and the marbling is gone 
so it's easy to deal with when they do a little bit of marbling and when they do that it's only because the base colour of the powder so sometimes they kind of marble clear or marble white that's just the base colour of the powder that like the pigment's been added to so again that one marbled a tiny bit just brush it out stroke it out and it's all gone um, so yeah, I'm going to let this video continue to play so you can have a little look. That was my feedback, really, really enjoyed using the product, going to try and use a lot more in my sets. Um, I've just been a bit useless at the moment and I keep putting them in a drawer and then forgetting I've got them. So I need to make an effort to actually get them out and put them on my desk and say you must do a set with these today. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, I hope you found it helpful to have a review of a different product that I've not really used before. Any questions, comments, requests, anything just pop it below. So enjoy the rest of the video and um, bye! Oh, and I totally lied. I'm back again. Just a very quick note now. Um, Annabelle, if you're watching this, I would really appreciate you adding a little comment below just for any feedback, obviously, because this is a new system for me to be using. Just some feedback, um, and I will pin your comment at the top so that if there's any hints and tips and tricks you have, to pop it there, and then anyone watching this video will see how to use this product from the master. So thank you very much, and I really am going now. So bye, guys! <laughs>